What's up, YouTube? Uh, Midwest Tool Review here back. Um, man, I tell you what, I tried to do um, a uh, video where I had my kids incorporated into it and I need to get some editing software. So, hey, anyone out there who's use, using editing software uh, on their videos and uh, like the program, let me know, leave a comment um, and I'll check it out. Um, Cause yeah, I'm at that point now where it's time to start doing some editing and uh, improving the channel overall. Uh, but I picked up some stuff. I went to um, a uh, like a secondhand store, if you will. I, my wife found an ad on Craigslist, and a guy was selling some tools, so we went and checked him out. Uh, and I'll show you what I picked up from him. And on the way back, we decided to just stop off at like a, another secondhand store here in town. Uh, and I picked up a couple things from there. That was a bit of a surprise at the amount of tools that they have there. Um, all of which requires some work and I'll kind of cover that real quick as well. But nonetheless, I've got some great buys, some great names um, that uh, many of you will um, have experience using. So let's check it out. All right, so um, not looking at this, this is today's purchase. I picked up a couple things that were on sale at Lowe's. So we'll talk about that last. But the first thing we got here uh, was this SK set here. As you see, SK out of Chicago. Uh, it was a 3 inch drive set um, with the ratchet. I do not own an SK ratchet. Those of you who follow my channel know that I have about 20 to 30 ratchets um, and none of which are SK. So this is my, this is my first one. Um, I've cleaned it up. So that sounds really good, nice and crisp. Um, I clean everything out. I put it into like an acid bath where I use muriatic acid and water uh, to remove rust. The knurling was a little bit difficult, but I got uh, as much of that cleaned out as I possibly could. And uh, the, the, the ratchet works really nice. Um, it's a 3 8 dry, like I said, uh, really good condition. Um, and it's, it cleaned up really nicely. Within that set, it also came with a breaker bar for 3 8 drive, which does have a little bit more wear um, on it, but uh, it's not flared out. Um, it works really good, still locks in place, um, and a very, very, very little rust um, overall. It is also SK, um, so that worked out pretty nice, as you guys see that. Uh, and then last, I also got a 3 inch drive extension. I think this is about six inches long. Um, there's your part number. It is also SKUSA, a little bit rougher condition, um, but nonetheless, it works really nice uh, and it fits onto the ratchet and sockets very well. The sizes that range in this little set here go from, let's see here, this is a 3 8 drive all the way up to, um, or which was included at least, um, all the way up to uh, 7 8 uh, and as you can see, some of these say SK Wayne, which I believe is to be a little bit older. Um, and then some of them say uh, SK Tools. Now, obviously, uh, you would not have gotten those variations all within this kit. So someone's backfilled the kit, which doesn't bother me any uh, because they're all SK. Um, and as we all know, SK has a fantastic warranty program. So if any of these sockets are worn out, um, um, I can simply send them back in and have replacements. Um, they range, I have a couple six points um, uh, and the rest of them are 12 points, um, which is fine. I don't foresee this being used like, you know, day to day or anything like that. It'll be used whenever it's convenient to do so. Um, but primarily I'm happy to get the SK breaker bar and the SK ratchet. So that's cool. I, this, these were, I, and on the other video I prepared for you guys, these things were covered in rust. I mean, they had rust on the outside, on the knurling or broaching on the inside. I mean, they were absolutely horrible. They look a lot better than what they do, what they did when I first got them. Um, and as you can see there, I cleaned that out fairly well. Um, if this camera will focus, uh, but we cleaned that out fairly well. Fairly well. Um, to the point where um, you know I'm okay to have them in my toolbox. I know some people don't care 
Um, but for me, um, I, if I'm spending the money, I don't want rusty tools piled up in my box. Um, so that came out really good. Next, we have a set of punches um, and they're various styles, various tips. These were also covered in rust. Now they look great now, and that's because I repainted them. Um, they were, some of these, the paint was fairly decent on and the other ones were not. Um, this one here, you can tell, looks like it was used the most, the least. Um, but I repainted it as well. These are by a company, although it's not gonna show up, it's called CTC Hargrave, which based upon my research, I determined that they are um, now owned by Wilton. And if you remember, Wilton also owns uh, or uh, manufactures these Colombian wrenches that I did in my previous uh, chat, my, my previous video. Um, so the Wilton Tool Company now must have bought out Hargrave, um, and this punch set here and chisel set is still being offered. Um, but these, being that they're a lot older, um, I'm assuming that the metal's a lot better. Probably has a higher grade uh, metal with a higher Rockwell C hardness. Um, so I'm really happy about this set. Um, I didn't try to do all crazy on the paint. I mean, they're a punch, so they're going to get hammered on. Um, but nonetheless, I wanted to improve upon their appearance more so than what they came, how they look when I first got them, rather. Um, but yeah, I don't have a punch set whatsoever. So this is the first punch set I got. Uh, really happy to have that. Um, so if you have any questions about this set uh, or any comments in general, just... Uh, Leave me a comment and I will respond to it. Um, boy, I'm, I'm gonna get that other video up. I'm gonna, or I'm gonna try to see if I can figure out how to edit in the photo photographs. But this particular wrench was absolutely 100% covered in rust. I mean, it was so covered in rust that it was orange. Um, it, it <laughs> obviously it doesn't look like that right now, but that's because I cleaned it up. Um, if you guys have never tried muriatic acid in water, it's a 10 to 1 ratio, uh, 10 parts water, 1 part um, uh, muriatic acid. Um, you know, you got to be, you got to use caution. You have to use protective equipment such as gloves and eye protection. And you also want to make sure that you have a plan on disposal of that muriatic acid. And we do have a company here locally that does take um, different chemicals and they will dispose of it for a, a small fee. Um, my company uses them so I know who they are. I'll package up that used uh, muriatic acid and I'll turn it in responsibly. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're being very responsible with chemicals if you're gonna use them to remove rust. But this 15 16 SK Wayne wrench was covered in, in rust. Um, and as you can see right now, if you even look in, at the, um, the broaching there, it's absolutely clean. Um, once I cleaned all these tools up, I used a bit of uh, WD-40 um, silicone spray, sprayed everything down, um, and now they're protected. And my garage is fairly dry, so I don't foresee, even though we live in the Midwest, I don't foresee these things uh, building up any rust in the future. From that, we had a couple, I believe it's pronounced um, Crowder, um, Crowder USA. This is 11 mil socket. And this one here is a 8 mil Crowder. Uh, these are stubbies, uh, 3 8 drive. Uh, they were absolutely covered in rust as well. You can see how they turned out. Um, I will post some pictures, I think, of these tools prior to so you guys can see. Um, we also got my very first and only um, uh, crow's foot. Uh, I don't own any of these. Uh, if anybody's wanting to get rid of some, let me know. I'll take. I'll gladly take them because I don't have any. Uh, but it's a 3 8 drive as well, uh, and it was covered in rust and some other kind of substance. But that came out really nice. From there, I also got a adapter, uh, quarter inch to 3 8 drive. This is a Craftsman, I believe. Yeah, this is a Craftsman, um, and that turned out really well. That wasn't as bad. These two weren't very well. They were. They, they had some rust, but not a lot. Um, so here we have SK. Williams and Proto. Um, it's important to note um, these two particular spark plug sockets, which is what I believe these to be, were um, purchased uh, along with that set over there uh, from the same seller. Uh, these are really nice condition, although uh, when I got them, they were absolutely covered 
once again in rust. This is a little floppy, which is not a big deal, but I believe if I wanted to have it serviced, I could. Um, and then from there, you can see this one here is a lot tighter with no flex, but this is also an SK as well. You guys can see all the oil on my hand that they're heavily coated right now. Um, but I cleaned these out. They were covered in some rust as well. Not really bad, um, but enough that I needed to clean them up. Uh, we also have another SK um, spark plug socket. Once again, covered in rust. I cleaned it up. Looks good now. Followed by a couple smaller ones. Um, this is a uh, SK as well, and it is 13 16 3 8 drive. And then last but not least, or we'll make it last at least, 7 16 um, 3 That's a half inch drive. And then we have a half inch size 12 point 3 8 drive. Okay, from there we also have the Williams sets. Now a lot of these are duplicates, so um, this one here is a 3 quarter 12 point. Um, cleaned up really nice. These were absolutely covered in rust as well. Um, as do all the tools that were pulled out of that box at that secondhand store. 3H drive. Um, we have a Williams 7 16 or 11 16 uh, 12 point cleaned up really nice. And this is all with muriatic acid and water sitting in there for about an uh, hour to an hour and a half. Probably not even that long, maybe a half an hour to an hour. Uh, and I use really warm water that, that seemed to help uh, expedite the uh, rust removal process. Uh, and after that, all I required was a light wiping with a, a Brillo pad or an SOS pad, and all of that loose rust came right away, came uh, right off with no issues. And this particular one, this is a um, uh, 9 16 Williams, there you can see there. Um, and it does have this hole, this through hole. I, at first I thought this was an issue. Um, someone had did this, you know, for whatever reason, but now I'm thinking that it was, it came like that because after all, they're all the same way. Um, so I guess this was some feature maybe for additional torque by the manufacturer. Um, and this particular one is a 7 16. So, uh, yeah, these were all purchased from a secondhand store thrown into a box and there's probably about a thousand sockets in that box and I only went through a small portion of them because I was on a time crunch with the wife um, but nonetheless uh, I paid like 25 cents a piece so you guys tell me if that was a decent deal or not uh, and then last we've got this proto I don't have any proto um, this one here is um, 15 mil 12 point and it cleaned up half inch drive but it cleaned up really well as well so I got all of this stuff, so I got, let's put it together. So let's take you guys out. We'll put you over here. So I got that set, $35. These, the wrench, and all of the sockets were $13. So what is that? Uh, 48 bucks, I think is what I spent total um, over the course of all these sockets. And I also got, um, it's somewhere in here. I got a, a gear wrench. Um, Torx bet and you, that thing's not focusing. Let's come over here. There we go. Uh, T30 or whatever it was. Pick that up as no, actually it wasn't that one. It was this one here. It was a T50. There we go by Gear Wrench, 3H drive. Pick that up as well. Um, let me see. Make sure I, I'm honest with you guys. I think that was it um, that I got from there. So yeah, so 48 bucks spent. Uh, and I picked up all of these um, good brand or um, you know hybrid or upper brand type tools for uh, little to no money. Um, I do have one SK socket here that I've previously um, picked up at a pawn shop. Uh, I was picking up a couple of stuff with my brother-in-law, and um, we found this guy here, and it has a crack. There's a crack there. So as you guys know, if you see my other video. Um, SK does excellent with their warranty process and this bad boy is going to go back to SK and it'll come back with um, some new with, as a new socket so they'll send me a replacement no issues on that today I picked up a couple things um, this was uh, on sale at Lowe's so I don't know if you want to call it a deal alert if you will but um, it's got that diamond 
um, great diamond tip on there for additional torque, um, more grip, better bite, um, prevents strip screws, helps remove strip screws. Um, came with a quarter inch, four inch um, flathead and a um, two point by four inch um, Phillips. Uh, lifetime guarantee on Stanley Tools. This is the Fat Max series uh, with the diamond industrial grip. Um, so these were $4.96 at Lowe's. Um, they were on closeout, so I picked those up. Not as though I need um, screwdrivers. I am I'm what they call screwdriver poor. I've got more than enough. So not like I needed them, but they were on sale, so I picked them up. Um, this guy here is a Swanson. I don't know if Swanson is a good brand or not. It's American made, so we'll assume so. Um, but it's a uh, seven inch speed square. Um, it comes with the um, Swanson Speed Square Blue Book, if you will. Uh, it gives you all the different ways of how to use it because I know there's a lot of um, different techniques out there that exist for how to use a Speed Square pop properly. Um, I do a lot of woodworking as well. Um, so this was uh, a good buy for me. I already have several of them, but not metal. Uh, this is the first metal one I have. Uh, it was on sale for $1.50 at Lowe's. Uh, and then last, I picked up this Cobalt. Uh, wrench storage rail. Uh, the packaging is busted up because this is the last one they had. Uh, there's your part number. Um, and there's, I, I don't even know how many slots there is, maybe 15 slots for rails or for wrenches rather. Um, and I picked this up for, they had it for $7 and then I says, hey, you know, the packaging's busted up and they were really dirty and dusty inside and they gave me $2 off. So I got them for five. And I'll show you what they look like. So you, if you guys remember this drawer, um, there was a lot going on and still is, but um, I've since organized it. I picked this up. This is a Tecton wrench rail and this is the new uh, Cobalt. Um, and as you can see, I've got everything neatly on there uh, and it works great. I mean, everything's uh, nice and secure. Nothing's hanging over. Um, it, it, it sits really well. I will go back and pick up another one of those because as you guys know in my box uh, there's a lot of wasted space currently right now and I can probably condense a lot of these things down um, into um, better storage. Um, also if you guys remember too for Christmas I got the Garants on uh, the four additional sizes 13 16 to 7 8 the 15, 16 and a one inch ratcheting, <clears throat> ratcheting. So that completed out that set for my SAE. Uh, I need to do the same thing for the metric, um, but that drawer is coming along quite well. So uh, we're gonna see about getting a wrench rail or something like that um, to be incorporated into my main box. Uh, Cause I can use it. I've got three drawers of wrenches and uh, everything is kind of thrown about at the moment. Um, but yeah, so, and then this is the Tecton one, um, and I've got my Stanleys on there, along with a couple gear wrench and some Pittsburgh ratcheting. This is kind of like the Frankenstein type uh, setup here, but uh, nonetheless, it holds everything. Everything's in order per size, uh, and it does really well. Uh, you know, for Christmas, I also got the grip tight wrenches, which I've not utilized, and then I already had these nice SK um, vintage um, socket in. Uh, open end wrenches here that I picked up uh, later um, earlier this year. So, yeah, overall, um, I'm really happy with everything that I got. Um, I didn't spend a whole lot of money this week um, trying to watch the finances. Got a lot of things going on this year as far as remodeling the house. So, um, it kind of goes with the core uh, philosophy of my channel is, is that. You can find SK, you can find Mac, you can find Williams, you can find Snap-on, all of which I have um, for um, basically, you know, Cobalt and Pittsburgh Harbor Freight um, prices. You just got to know where to look for them at. If you want to go hop in a tool truck and spend, you know, the money, that's fine. No, I'm not knocking you. But what I am saying is that for us who want to be a little bit frugal or maybe you're not going to be using... The tools every day to justify the cost there are other alternative means to finding tools um, good quality tools for low prices um, and I also got this um, another punch here at the same time it was an SK Wayne um, so that works out as well 
So yeah, I, I think I did fairly good. Um, just simply adding to uh, my tools. Um, you guys know I am not a mechanic. I am an engineer. Um, I design components for um, fixed wing and rotary wing aircraft as well as tanks and other military aircraft. So that's what I do day to day. Uh, and I love tools and uh, this community uh, of tool lovers is awesome um, and supportive. So um, I'm just kind of showing you guys what I have. I'm trying to encourage those who are trying to uh, build up their tool collection to go out there confidently and, and find what they need without um, going in debt. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next time, the next uh, video. Thank you.